today we are going to discuss a few electric vehicle related project ideas if you if you are new here we uh, get electric vehicle create videos about electric vehicle technology news reviews deals and more please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified when we publish every single video about electric vehicle we have a blog getelectricvehicle.com please visit that blog to get fantastic news about electric vehicle so let's directly go to the questions the first question is thanks for the video could you please help to provide some idea about using ev as a backup power source thanks yes <clears throat> you can use electric vehicle as a backup power source for your home uh, we know that the battery capacity of ev is around 30 kilowatt hour 40 kilowatt hour etc the total energy consumption of a home usually never exceeds 3 kilowatt hour per day so we can use the electric vehicle to power the home for at least 10 days continuously we have 30 kilowatt hour battery and the per day energy consumption is just 3 kilowatt hour so you can use it for 10 days it is ideal case so normally if you want uh, electricity for some time or some day you can use the electric car as a backup power source but to use it as a backup power source you need a bi-directional charger the power has to be flow from from uh, the car battery to your home during this um, this utilization time so how do we do that <coughs> we need a bi-directional charger normal charges can uh, draw power from the power utility grid to your car's battery here you have to draw the power from the battery to your home so um, if you have to do a project then you can go for uh, a development of a bi-directional charger for your car what are the advantages of using this electric vehicle as a, a backup power source if you use the energy during peak hours then the energy cost will be high for example at uh, from 6 pm to 10 or 11 pm the energy cost will be high in some area so if you can use the power from this car during that period then you can reduce the total energy cost at your home that is one advantage and other advantage is for the electric utility uh, you use this backup power source during this time this peak period then uh, the total load on this power utility will be less and it will help to reduce the peak load during the peak hours if you want to do a project then you can go for developing a bi-directional charging you can develop an algorithm to um, determine when to charge your car and when to discharge your car if you plug your car to the power socket from uh, at 5 pm and you want your car to be get fully charged in next eight or nine hours you can schedule when to charge your car you need not charge your car during the peak hours you can charge your car during the off peak hours you can set the algorithm like that that is another project that you can do now let's go to the second question hello sir i am a btech final year student please guide me in ev project analysis and design of advanced control algorithm for grid tied ev charge especially main focus on bidirectional converter okay here this question is also related to vehicle to grid technology um, in this technology you can connect your car and you can transfer the energy from your car battery to the power utility grid usually we take the energy from the power grid and we charge the battery of electric car here if we connect our vehicle to the grid then you can transfer the energy from your car's battery to the power utility grid what are the advantages of grid connected electric vehicle if you can transfer the energy from your car's battery to the grid during peak hours it will definitely help the power utility grid to reduce the peak demand on the on the grid for example from 6 pm to 10 pm the 10 or 11 pm that is the peak hour during that time normally the power energy consumption will be very high to reduce this energy consumption we can um, supplement with the energy from the electric vehicle battery how can we transfer the energy from the battery to the power utility grid if you have a bi-directional charger then you can transfer the energy from your car's battery back to the grid it will definitely help for helpful for the the user as well for example in some area the energy the tariff is based on time time of use that is used in some area so um, the total energy cost will be dependent on the time of the use if we if you use the energy from 6 pm to 10 pm the peak hour the energy cost will be high and during off peak hours the total energy cost will be less so if you could charge your car during off peak hours then the energy cost will be less for you in this question this this guy wants some uh, some idea about the control algorithm for grid connected ev 
so um, yeah we can develop some algorithm to to decide when to charge an electric car if you use your electric car um, and if you want to charge it overnight and you are going to drive this car the next day morning so this is the condition you are plugging you plugging your car to the circuit in the night uh, 6 pm and you want to drive this car in the next day morning um so here in this case you don't want to charge your car from 6 pm to 10 pm or you can reduce the rate of charge during that period to reduce the total energy consumption during the peak time so you can develop one algorithm in such a way that it determines when to charge your electric car even though you are plugged the car into the circuit so it will uh, consider the factors such as the state of charge of the battery and how much energy you require um, in your car in the next day morning and uh, uh, based on all these factors it could decide uh, the rate of the charge during different time for example from 6 pm to 10 pm the tariff will be high so you can uh, reduce the rate of charging uh, during that period so you can develop an algorithm like that and maybe um, to reduce the total energy cost of your home you can supply the energy from the battery to the home during this peak hours as well you can develop an algorithm like that but i don't know um it would be a good project for btech but it would be a good project for a masters program i guess okay let's go to the next question hello sir i am a phd student i want to know about battery performance analysis in electric vehicle okay so here um uh this guy want to know know the battery performance analysis in a electric vehicle okay the performance of battery um we can do it um uh, using simulation software if you have a battery model and a complete vehicle model you can simulate the vehicle for different drive cycle and you can find um how would be the state of the state of charge of the battery if the vehicle travels um in that particular a uh, driving cycle that is one method and you can simulate the vehicle for different driving cycle you may develop a driving cycle for yourself that is possible or you can select the standard driving cycles and find the uh, state of charge of battery yeah state of health that is another important factor for a battery is read about these two state of charge and state of health there are different algorithms to find uh the state of health and uh, state of charge of the battery you can implement them in your the vehicle model that you are going to develop um if you are doing phd it will be a good project you can develop the complete vehicle model from the scratch you can develop everything every model using maybe matlab or some other simulation softwares and simulate the complete vehicle model and analyze the performance motor performance battery performance control performance everything it is possible it would be a good project you can compare them with different driving cycles but if you want to to compare this with the real vehicle data then you need an electric vehicle and and you have to accurately model the the real battery that used in that vehicle and you have to compare the data collected from the vehicle and the simulation software yeah that would also be a good project because um here you are comparing the real data with um uh, uh the simulation simulation data in that case you have to collect uh the driving cycle or the velocity versus time profile from the vehicle and you have to simulate uh the model with that driving cycle then you can compare them together it will um lead to some conclusions you may think in that way okay so the next question is Sir, can you give me a topic where power electronics and power systems both will be included related in EV? Okay, so most of the electric vehicle related projects that we discussed here are related to power electronics and power systems. So, um, the vehicle grid technology is a power system topic basically, but you can since we developed this. Uh, controllers for them they are a part of power electronic so the bidirectional converter development will be a part of um, power electronic project so if you want to combine power electronics and power systems then you can use vehicle to grid technology projects then uh, yeah obviously the charger projects if you uh, want to develop one charger electric vehicle charger then that will be a a power electronics project and uh, that will yeah that will be a 
power systems as well in up to some extent but this bidirectional charger will definitely be a power uh, electronics and power system project then um, dc dc converter that will be a power electronics project more or less then yeah basically the grid connector electric vehicle will be the best option for a power electronics and power system related project okay so so don't forget to subscribe to this channel here we are now explaining about ev related projects in this live video in this channel we usually create videos about electric vehicle technology news reviews and more so please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done yet to get notified when we publish every single video about electric vehicle okay so uh next question and one more thing if you are watching the replay of this video don't hesitate to comment i will check out all the comments and i will try to reply to uh, the comments that you left so could you please suggest what should i do for my mini project on ev okay so here this guy wants to do a mini project on ev for mini projects i would say you can develop one inverter for electric vehicle that would be a good project then a dc dc converter for electric vehicle that would also be a good project you can use sometimes dc to dc converter to drive a dc motor sometimes um uh, in electric vehicles they use dc motors as well so you can do use a controller for dc motor as well that could also be a good project then another idea is if you want to do simulation project i don't think that that would be a mini project um, i hope you need a hardware setup here so you can go for this dc dc converter or inverter basically so next hello sir i am a four year student of btech mechanical department i want to do mini and main project on popularity vehicle can you help mini and main project for a mechanical student i would prefer uh, for main project you can try try converting a a normal vehicle to electric vehicle you can use a scooter and uh, you can replace every component ic engine related components and use electric vehicle conversion kit to convert that to an electric vehicle then you have to do a, a an energy analysis that is the main thing the conversion everyone can do the conversion but the energy conversion sorry the energy analysis is the main part for an academic academic project if you want to do a good academic project then you have to convert this vehicle to electric then you have to perform an a maybe a simulation study using software such as advisor or matlab and you have to compare the data from the vehicle with the simulation results and then only then you have to um, to uh, to come up with some meaningful conclusions then only it will be a good academic project so please think in that way and uh, go for a project related to electric vehicle a hardware project related to electric vehicle i really suggest this for you so these are the questions that i collected and i plan to answer for today if you like this video please tap the like button and subscribe to this channel don't forget and uh, please leave your comments below about um, electric vehicle and if you have some questions please feel free to ask me i will definitely respond to those questions in upcoming videos thank you so much for joining with me thank you bye